Okay, I will now guide you through the effects. This EQ remains from the start of the track. A clean EQ, a vintage style EQ for some coloring. One more compression, limiting, and a spectrum analyzer. I will loop a part of the track, command L. I will turn on the spectrum analyzer and the limiting and some compression. I won't compress too much with this compressor, only about a dB or so. And then I will put up the gain, so I hit about minus 10 dB. I don't like going over 10 dB, because it's washing the track too much. I will now turn on the MTQ and I will try to cut out some of the low end some of the sub frequencies in 20 to 30 hertz but as you can hear it's changing the sound of the kick and bass yeah and I don't like the sound I will switch to high latency maybe I cut out too much to maximum latency and I'm going to cut out around 20 Hz yeah that's much better it's not affecting the sound so hard I'll switch back to zero latency so you can hear the difference much better. I will turn off this EQ for now because it's introducing latency in the track. I will turn it on later. I will try to boost 100 Hz because this is a track in a key of G and G is around 97 Hz. I think this EQ is a bit too much. I think 2 dB is a bit much. I will try it with the far filter. I will find 97 Hz. A uh, narrow Q. Maybe a bit more. I will cut out some of the 500. Whoops. I will turn up 10 kilohertz. Wrong button. Yeah, I think 2 dB is 
is enough. And I will turn up the bandwidth, the Q. This isn't in the realm of mastering, but I think these synths could use some group compression. I will squash the synths and then I will turn up the dry wet knob to about 50%. And 50 is too much. Backing off the threshold. This is just gluing the synths a bit better. I will stereo widen the. I will also stereo widen the synth group just a bit. Not too much. I think I can cut off some of the highs from the group. Just a little bit. To leave some room for the high head crash Still at minus 10 dB, so that's okay. Just checking different parts of the track. I think the clap needs some more high end sizzle. Not too much.
And now I'm just going to export the track and that's that. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the tutorial.